Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 9, Comparing Estimated Probabilities to Probabilities Predicted by a Model. Alrighty, Classwork, Exploratory Challenge, Game Show, Picking Blue. Imagine for a moment the following situation. You and your classmates are contestants on a quiz show called Picking Blue. There are two bags in front of you, bag A and bag B. Each bag contains red and blue chips. You're told that one of the bags has exactly the same number of blue chips as red chips. So that's a 50, 50 probability of choosing, selecting red or blue. But you are told nothing about the ratio of the blue to red chips in the other bag. So let's say this was bag A. Bag B, uh, we have no idea what the ratio is. Each student in your class will be asked to select either bag A or bag B. Starting with bag A, a chip is randomly selected from the bag. If a blue chip is drawn, all of the students in your class who selected bag A win a blue token. The chip is put back in the bag. After mixing up the chips in the bag, another chip is randomly selected from that bag. If the chip is blue, the students who pick bag A win another blue token. After the chip is placed back into the bag, the process continues until a red chip is picked. When a red chip is picked, the game moves to bag B. A chip from the bag B is then randomly selected. If it is blue, all of the students who selected bag B win a blue token. If the chip is red, the game is over. Just like for bag A, if the chip is blue, the process repeats until a red chip is picked from the bag. So red stops us out. When the game is over, the students with the greatest number of blue tokens are considered the winners. Without any information about the bags, you would probably select a bag simply by guessing. But, surprisingly, the show's producers are going to allow you to do some research before you select a bag. So they're going to give you 20 minutes where you can pull a chip from either one of the two bags and look at the chip and then put the chip back in the bag. If you can repeat this process as many times as you want within the 20 minutes, at the end of 20 minutes, you must make your final decision and select which of the bags you want to use in the game. Okay. So we were told that one of the bags has exactly the same number of chips, blue and red, but told nothing about the ratio of the other bag. So getting started, it says, assume that the procedures of the show do not want to give away the producers, I'm sorry. Assume that the producers of the show do not want to give away a lot of their blue tokens. As a result, if one bag has the same number of red and blue chips, do you think the other bag would have more or fewer blue chips than the red chips? Explain your answer. Okay, so have you made your choice? Here we go. The producers would likely want the second bag to have fewer blue chips. If a participant selects that bag, it would mean the participant is more likely to lose this game. Planning your research. Your teacher will provide you with two bags labeled A and B. You have 20 minutes to experiment with pulling chips one at a time from the bags. After you examine a chip, you must put it back in the bag. Remember, no peeking in the bags, as that will disqualify you from the game. You can pick chips from just one bag, or you can pick chips from one bag and then the other bag. Use the results from 20 minutes of research to determine which bag you will choose for the game. Provide a description outlining how you will carry out your research. Okay, this here is an open-ended question, so I am not going to be able to fill this out because everybody's answer could be different and they could all be correct or some could be wrong. Um, so if I were conducting a research and I knew one of the bags had a 50-50 chance, there's no sense in me observing what's in that bag. We already know it's half and half. So if we were told that bag A was a 50-50 chance, then I would just focus on bag B and draw and replace as many times as possible within that 20 minutes to get an indication because the more frequently I'm going to pull the closer I'm going to be to the actual. So if I can get as many trials in as I can, my accuracy improves. Now it says carrying out the research. Share your plan with your teacher. Your teacher will verify whether your plan is within the rules of the quiz show. Approving your plan does not mean, however, that your teacher is indicating that your research method offers the most, most accurate way to determine which bag to select. 
if you're within reason, they may allow it, but it may not be the best, is what they're saying. If your teacher approves your research, carry out your plan as outlined. Record the results from your research as directed by your teacher. Now playing the game. After the research has been conducted, the competition begins. First, your teacher will shake up bag A. A chip is selected. If the chip is blue, all students who selected bag A win an imaginary blue token. The chip is put back in the bag and the process continues. When a red chip is picked from bag A, students selecting bag A have completed the competition. Your teacher will now shake up bag B. A chip is selected. If it's blue, all students who selected bag B win an imaginary blue token. The process continues until a red chip is picked. At that point, the game is over. How many blue tokens did you win? Okay, so obviously I'm not going to be able to go over this in a video, so I will continue. And here's some, some results. At the end of the game, your teacher will open the bags and reveal how many blue and red chips were in each bag. Answer the questions that follow. After you have answered these questions, discuss them with your class. Before you played the game, were you trying to learn what were you trying to learn about the bags from your research? Okay, your answer should look like this. I was trying to learn the estimated probability of picking a blue chip without knowing the theoretical probability. So there's some terminology. Estimated probability is as with respect to theoretical probability. Theoretical probability is the in theory what the probability would be knowing how many chips are in a bag but not knowing what color each one is two says what did you expect to happen when you pulled chips from the bag with the same number of blue and red chips did the bag that you thought had the same number of blue and red chips yield the results you expected one answer could look like this i was looking for an estimated probability that was close to 0 0.5 or 50 percent that would connect the estimated probability of picking blue with the bag that had the same number of red and blue chips. Number three, how confident were you in predicting which bag had the same number of blue and red chips? Explain. So again, answers will vary here. Students' confidence is based on the data collected. The more data collected, the closer the estimates are likely to be to the actual probability. Number four, what bag did you select to use in the competition and why? Okay, again, answers will vary. It is anticipated that students would pick the bag with the larger estimated probability of picking a blue chip based on the many chips they selected during their research stage. Evidence of choices might include one, picking 50 chips from bag A and 24 were blue and 26 were red. The results are very close to 50% probability of picking each color. I think this indicates that there were likely an equal number of each color in this bag. So that's one possible answer. Number five, if you were the show's producers, how would you make up the second bag? Remember, one bag has the same number of red and blue chips. Okay, so again, answers will vary. Most students should indicate a second bag that had fewer blue chips, but some may speculate on a second bag that is nearly the same to make the game more of a guessing game or a bag with very few blue, thus providing a clear indication which bag has the same number of red and blue chips. If you picked a chip from bag B 100 times and found that you picked each color exactly 50 times, would you know for sure that bag B was the one with equal numbers of each color? Students' answers should indicate that they are quite confident they have the right bag, as getting the result is likely to occur from getting the bag equal numbers of each color chip. However, answers should represent understanding that even a bag with different number of color chips could have that outcome. Okay, that is the end of lesson nine. Review your lesson summary and go to your problem set.